but we're going to turn on about now and we're going to go ahead and select that here and with the move tool get v here we're going to drag it all the way down and then line it up there and then if we zoom in we could probably see it a little better and it looks like we have it lined up there so I see this is a gray box if I get the move tool again hit v I can get the arrows and see where the 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 white is oh there's an off a lot there and then see where they line up there and you can create guides there if you wanted to that's always helpful if you know what the widths are either way whatever way works um, so now we're going to go ahead and transform this whole thing because we want um, maybe not the text to be smaller um, that might be a problem actually I don't want to do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and drag just the the box itself, um, the image itself. Or another way we could do it is leave the text the same size so it's a little easier to read, and then just kind of stack them on top of each other. But I think this will still be OK. So we're going to go ahead and transform this. And if you're lucky, yours, I don't know why these stacked on top of each other. Normally when I do it, it, it maintains the layout, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. So we're going to do control T and then we're going to get this bounding box here and we're going to transform this thing. This image is not as important. The map, it's really not a, a very, very important image. So I'm, I don't have a problem making it um, a little smaller, which I did there. And I might have to nudge this over there. And then again, with our guides, we want to make sure that we're going to have everything lined up. So we can open this up now, and then we can select the map. And this should be centered in here already. And um, I'm going to put my guides on and then I'm going to drag this map to again where we have the 30 mark there because that's where I'm doing everything. So we'll go ahead and have it 30 below and 30 over there. And then the same thing with the type. We're going to go ahead and select the, the main text and drag it over. And we had about 30 in between there and 30 in between there. Turn off those guides. And then let's go ahead and zoom out and look at it. OK, so again, pretty good. At 1 to 1, when we see it at 1 to 1, it's very legible still. OK, so now we can turn off this purple. We don't need it anymore. And we have the white there. We still have the nice border there for that. And this is looking good here. Okay, again, the important thing is that we're consistent with our spacing, with our grid, both horizontally and vertically. And now the next section we're going to do, so the about section is done. That was an easy one, um, is degrees. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And um, we're going to turn this box on. Again, we've got a purple box here because the same thing is going to happen here. Now, it looks like it's a little smaller here, but we just have to nudge this down is what the problem is. Um, so again, if we get the move tool, I'm going to click and drag and whoa, I'm on the wrong section. I need to be in degrees. And see, there it came down now. So we want to get those right up against each other. And then we're going to transform again. Again, this image is not really important. So it doesn't matter if it's a little smaller. It's going to be OK. 768. This image is actually going to be on this side. So when we drag this one over here, um, this is the degree image. Again, we're going to turn on the, the guides there. And we need to make sure we're going to do 1, 2, 3 over here. If you hold down the Shift key when you drag, it only will drag in one. Um, horizontally or vertically, depending on which way you go. 
Okay, so there's the other text right here. We'll go ahead and select this text. And again, if we hold down the Shift key, we can just drag it across. Okay, turn this off. And then let's see how it looks. We can turn off the purple now because that's lined up. And then let's zoom out. Let's see how it looks. So, so far so good. We're lining everything up. It looks like this text box is a little wide. So I'm going to probably go ahead and transform it a little more. And I can transform it a little that individually. Um, again, let's zoom in here. I'll show you how to do that. Let's put that guide on. So I'm going to keep it on the same line as this image here. And we want the, the text for about this main text here. And I'm going to transform that. Okay, so again, I'm going to drag it from the corner because I want to maintain the aspect ratio. And if I hold down the shift key, that'll do it. And I'm going to drag it over to this point right here. Select it. And it still should be very legible. If I go ahead and zoom back out now, it lines up better. So the important thing here is that you're checking and double checking your grids to make sure everything's lined up right. Okay, now for the contact us section, I don't want to scale the whole thing because I want to keep the fields large. So I'm going to do kind of similar what I did up here and that I'm just going to scale the bounding box first. And then also, you know what, I need to um, turn this back on because otherwise I wouldn't see that gap right there. So to start out with, I'm just going to um, go ahead and select the this box here until we get it in the right position here. Sometimes it's a little hard to see and then you just have to tweak it later. And then we're going to turn on transform here. So sometimes it's easier to see to see with the, the bounding box there when you have transform to get it really lined up correctly. And then we're going to go ahead and drag from the corner. Oops, had it right there, 768. It's there. And then we're going to get the text and move it over here. And we're going to we're going to line it up oh, with the smart guides. It helps sometimes to be able to line it up. So we'll we can start with it there. Um, and then it looks like our fields didn't copy very well. So let's go ahead and get both our fields and drag them over. Whoa. Use the right key here would help. And so these might have to be a little closer together there. See this lined up over here with that right there. That may work. And then also we might put them a little closer together here. I don't think it's going to be necessary. But we might have to make this box a little wider here. And then the actual text itself. We're going to drag over here and see how these are going to line up. Okay, but the most important thing here is that you're using the grid to make sure everything's lined up and it's all equally spaced. So it doesn't really matter what units you use. Uh, consistency is a key here. And then when we go and look at this kind of finished thing, we'll make sure that our space is consistent. Uh, last but not least here, we got the footer. Get the move tool and drag it over. And this box ended here. So we can keep that there. Um, it looks like we might want to make it a little wider to fit in our in our um, 60 pixel grid. Let's size let's see what size this is right now. If we look at properties, it tells us the size. So it says it's 60 right now. So it should be fine. Um, from there, then all we're going to have to do is get the text. So again, we're looking at 30 pixels here. We're going to center it in a little second here. Um, we're going to, this 
text right here, we want it to be centered. Depends on if it'll actually fit or not. We might have to do something different here. And then we got our social media icons, which are, there they are. Again, we'll put this at 30 there. We'll zoom in so we can see these guides a little better here. So there is one, two, three. We have two up on top. There. And then we're going to line it up so it fits right. Okay, well, that looks pretty good. So the only thing we have to do now is crop the, the artboard, because the artboard's a little long. And this is pretty easy to do. If we click on the actual artboard and click on the Move tool, or the folder for the artboard, it brings up a bounding box here, and then we can just put it to where the art ends, and it's cropped. So that layout's looking pretty good. Everything looks like it's aligned correctly.